passed in ninth standard. Mm -hmm. So I joined early. I gave Anthe in eighth standard. Pretty much a game changing moment for me. Now I'm competing all across India. Good evening, welcome to the class. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the 9th and 10th channel, everyone. How are you all? Good evening, good evening. I can see so many of you are here. Welcome, welcome, everyone. Good evening, how are you all? How's the energy in the class? How's the Josh? Yes. So, Resh is here, Abhinav is here. Ridhima is here, Arushi is here. Hi, thank you Arushi for asking, I'm also good. Hi Aisha, hi Anushka. Hi Energy, very, very good everyone. Hi Sneha, hi Shika, hi Misty, thank you so much. Yes, Misty. Bhushan, Anushka, Suresh, Aarti. Good evening everyone, good evening. So good to see you, all of you here. And of course today we have a very interesting session, right? Thank you so much, everyone. Arba. Arba. Arba, yes. Kiran. Sanjavi. Arushi. Krishna. Thank you so much, Aisha. Hello, Kiran. Hello, everyone. Thank you, Aradhya Abhishek. Good evening, everyone. So, I hope that all of you are ready for today's session. Yes or no, everyone? Can you see this smiley? Can you hear me clearly? Hi Akansha, hi Krishna, hi Omesh, Ritesh, Arzu. Good evening everyone. Good to see that so many of you are here with us. So let's start our session. Yes, are we ready everyone? Are we ready? Very, very good. So of course today what we have. Now of course from the title slide only we know that we will be discussing about the question from the chapter life process right and of course uh, from the life processes chapter and of course these are the questions which are there in the ANTHE uh, which actually came in the ANTHE examination and what are we doing we are actually spending some time on the questions and different types of uh, questions that are usually asked in the ANTHE examination so we have that things going on right. Krishna I know it's a bit difficult because uh, the exam pattern and everything is a little bit different but don't worry. We are uh, trying our best. We are discussing the questions. So we are, we will be coming up with something. Okay, everyone, let's get started. So of course, before we start our session, we have the Anthe, right? Which is nothing but the Akash National Talent Hunting, uh, Talent Hunt Examination. It's for class 11th until 12th, right? And of course, we have the offline and the online mode of, ex of the examination. Don't worry. It's a very interesting examination. It's a very prestigious examination. So many of the students uh, every year write this exam. And of course, they stand a chance to win lots and lots of things. So do write this exam. Yes, on that note, let's start, right? So very quickly, everyone, let me see how many of you are here. Yes, very good, very good. So what we'll do, I will be moving ahead, right? And of course, I want your cooperation. Yes, we don't have Menti Anushka today. We'll be focusing on the theory part over here. We will be looking into the questions. Okay? Very good. Okay, so now we uh, are starting, right? So, of course, the first type of question that we are looking into, the MCQs. Are we clear? A very easy question, right? MCQs. I want you to answer the uh, question in the chat box. So, let's start. Here we have everyone. I want all of your attention. I know it's 7 p.m., right? And I think that you must be tired. So I'll not be taking much of your time. We need to be a little bit quicker and we need to focus. Yes, so let's start, right? Now tell everyone, during the photosynthesis, uh, splitting of water molecule yields what? So we know that in photosynthesis, we have three important steps. And in that, splitting of water is very, very crucial. So what it will be giving, right? Oxygen only, hydrogen, oxygen, light energy or the carbon dioxide and oxygen. Very, it's a very easy question. Come on, everyone. 
Yes, yes, very quickly. Very good, everyone. I can see so many correct options. Very good, very good. So, that's a very pretty easy answer, right? We know that uh, in the photosynthesis process, of course, we will see that splitting of, uh, splitting of water molecules will occur. And in that, what we'll see, uh, we will have the oxygen and the hydrogen. Very good. Photolysis of water. Absolutely correct, Suresh. Yes, so we have the correct answer. That is hydrogen and the oxygen. Very good, everyone. So, yay. Happy, happy. Let's move to the next question, everyone. Let's be really very quick. Yes. Okay, in plant and in animals, the waste products are respectively stored in or as what? Now, read the question carefully and then read the options also very carefully. We are, are talking about plants and animals and of course in the options also, you have to see that plants are coming first and then the animals. So here we have uh, option number A talks about the bladder and the uh, old xylem, right? Talks about that. Then of course, uh, we have old xylem and kidneys, right? And of course, then we have raisins and the urinary bladder. And of course, we have the uh, gums and the raisins. Yes? Come on, come on, it's a very easy question, I know. We're talking about the excretory product that we have in the plants and the animals among these options. In plants first and then in animals. I can see the correct answer. See, the first option cannot be correct, right? Bladder, of course, we know that bladder stores for a very short time, right? But it's not there in, it's not there in the plants. And it's there in the animals. So, of course, old xylem and kidney, for sure, it is incorrect. Gums and raisin, both, both are the excretory products of the plants. So, what are we left with? We are left with the raisin and the bladder. So, in plants, of course, it stored the excretory product in the form of raisins. And, of course, uh, the urine gets stored in the bladder. So, option number three is correct. Yay! Okay, this... Smiley face looks a little bit weird, but yeah, we got the correct answer. Yes, you were correct. I hope that all of you were correct. Yes, yes, yes. Awesome. Can we move ahead to the next question? Right? Now, this was a very easy peasy question, right? Now, we will be moving ahead to the next uh, type of question where, of course, it can contain more than two correct answer. Yes, Krishna, we will discuss about the kidney at the end of the session, right? But now let's quickly solve the question. Okay. Now let's look at this question, everyone. And I want all of you to focus over here. You are so brilliant. I know that you will be answering this question. You all my pyara bachas, right? Sabne itni mehnat kari hai. I have 100% trust on you. So we have to select the correct statement regarding the above picture. So we here we have, let's look at the picture first and then I'll show you the statement. Yes, we have... The X over here, Y and Z. Okay, this is the right side and that's the left side. You know which side we're talking about, right? So let's quickly see the statement now. Here we have the statement and now we have to pick the correct statement. Okay, please read the statement just once, right? Quickly go through the statement. Okay, ma'am, I have read the NCRT book. It is good, uh, Krishna. Right, but for the ante examination, we might need to amp up a little more. You can read from other reference books. Yes, Chintu, I will be I will be talking about the kidney, but not now. Give me a minute. Right? Okay. Okay. Now let's see the options. What we have that the label part Y carries the oxygen-rich blood. Okay. Both the label part X and Y is uh, are thin-walled upper chamber. X and Y are chambered. Yes, definitely they are the upper chamber. So, that's right. First is also right. The labeled part X receives blood from the pulmonary artery. This is not correct, right? And the labeled part Z contract and pour blood to the left ventricle. Hmm. Interesting question, right? So, let's see over here, everyone. So, we will be discussing about the different parts over here. So, the one that is we have over here is the right auricle. Then, of course, we have the pulmonary vein 
and of course then we have over here of the left auricle so definitely when we have the auricles we know that they have thin walls right yes or no yes what we have we know that in the atriums we have thin walls as compared to the ventricles yes or no very good so that means statement number 2 was absolutely correct then pulmonary artery carries the oxygen rich blood from the lungs to the heart to the left side of the heart that is also clear very good and then the left ventricle receives the blood from the left auricle and then it sends the blood back to the basically uh, from there left ventricle sends the blood to the body very good yes yes it's part it's pulmonary vein bachche over here why is pulmonary vein hello pk education so over here we have three three are absolutely correct thank you garma please uh brishka please write your doubt i hope i pronounced your name correct i missed your name but if you have doubt please write over here yes it is called as atrium or auricle also yes very good so over here we have one definitely it's correct right then we have two both x and y are we, these are the upper chambers and of course the, their walls are thin and the labeled part was z right which is left atrium right when it will contract the blood will move to the left ventricle so we are clear with this right yes it's okay it's okay it's okay now i hope that now you got it very good very good great awesome so we are clear with this hi tanu hi deepanshu mahak very good very good okay pk education hindi english mein theek hai i'll try yes chaliye let's move to the next question everyone again in this particular question what we have we have to again pick either one correct option or two correct option yes so here we have the simple diffusion is not able to meet the requirement of the all the cells in the multicellular organism now hame pata hai ki simple diffusion hota hai which actually help in the exchange right but in multicellular organism it's not possible kyun nahi possible hai yes abhi shri now have moved please stop spamming you can i'm sure you can see this option right yes quickly tell me everyone yes so we have that all our uh, cells are not in direct contact with the surrounding no specific organs are needed in a specific function the entire surface of the organism is in contact with the surrounding and the body size of an organism increase and the body design becomes complex very easy question so we know that of course in our body we have cells and of course cells have the requirements right and they are the structural and the functional unit of life now the uh, the cell shape and the cell size definitely differ right and they actually exchange they get the new materials or the nutrient or the molecules by the simple process of simple diffusion right so of course that's one condition and we know that cells will be coming together and will be forming the tissues then tissues to the organs organs to the organ system and then the organism right so we know that uh, if we look if we go back to the question and if we look over here that all cells are not in direct contact with the surrounding i hope that you got this right okay adishri don't make that face make a smiley face yes are we clear so we know that our cells are not in direct contact see we have the cells right but of course they are not so capable enough of doing the simple diffusion from the surrounding very good right second point over here is that the body size of the organism increases of course with the body design so different animals have different body design right we have like a single unicellular organism and of course on the opposite we have a elephant so of course diffusion amoeba mein hona is really very easy as compared to the elephant right very good samajh mein aa sabko so i like quickly explain in hindi also ke simple diffusion hum multicellular organisms mein nahi ho sakta do reason hai uske liye first of course ke 
सेल्स जो हैं हमारी बॉडी की वो डायरेक्ट एक्सपोज भी नहीं है टू द सराउंडिंग एनवायरमेंट के डायरेक्टली कांटेक्ट में नहीं है इसलिए डिफ्यूजन नहीं हो सकता सेकेंड इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट कि जो सेल की बॉडी की जो ऑर्गेनिज्म का जो बॉडी साइज है वो भी वेरी करता है जितना बड़ा ऑर्गेनिज्म होगा उसके लिए डिफ्यूजन करना उतना मुश्किल है दैट्स वाई राइट एवरी वन आई होप दैट यू गॉट दिस ओके चिंटू किडनी के बारे में क्या पूछना है बच्चे यस सो किडनी इज द एक्सक्रीटरी ऑर्गन राइट इन आर बॉडी इट कंटेन नेफ्रॉन्स वेट इट कंटेन्स नेफ्रॉन्स which are the structure in the fundamental unit yes and urine formation happens in the kidney yes yes very good everyone i can yes i do remember you yes arzu i got the answer okay very good very good yes i remember you okay let's move on everyone to the next type now we have very interesting type over here we have two statement assertion and the reason and we have to basically find out whether both the statement are correct or incorrect and the reason for that let's start over here everyone okay take a moment read the statement would it take long if we had diffusion as a method yes adi shri now what will happen if a simple diffusion diffusion is there diffusion occurs from the higher concentration to the lower concentration now the the demands of a body right the molecules that we need may be not in always in that particular concentration right and it will be difficult for the body to maintain that balance or the con concentration gradient okay the the first statement is the rate of a breathing in amphibic organism is much faster then then seen in the terrestrial organism which is absolutely i think correct right since the amount of dissolved oxygen is water is fairly low compared to the amount of oxygen in air what do you think ye to apne bahut acche se padha tha yes this is about the respiration in the aquatic organism so we know that fishes right the aquatic organisms have a high breathing rate right they have a high breathing rate why they have a high breathing rate let's understand jinhone nahi padha tha everyone if you focus here for 5 minutes actually 5 minutes is zyada hai for 2 minutes you will be able to understand this particular concept so what happens in the aquatic organism is that they are under the water a pani mein oxygen jo mila hua hai wo kya hai it's very less so the dissolved oxygen in the water is very less of course on the land we have the oxygen in the atmosphere we can easily get it but for the fishes and for the aquatic organisms they have to take the oxygen really very quickly that's why they needs to breathe quickly that's why they have higher breathing rate are we clear yes are we clear bachche i will not be able to explain you about the chemistry part bio part is i can yes आरुषि ब्रीदिंग रेट इसलिए ज्यादा है बच्चे फॉर एग्जांपल आई ऑलवेज एक्सप्लेन दिस वेरी गुड एग्जांपल रितेश आयोटा इज द लार्जेस्ट आर्टरी दैट कैरीज द ऑक्सीजन रिच ब्लड फ्रॉम द लेफ्ट वेंट्रिकल टू द डिफरेंट पार्ट्स ऑफ द बॉडी वेलकम बैक भाविश ओके यस आई थिंक आई क्विकली एक्सप्लेन के द ब्रीदिंग रेट राइट नाउ फॉर एग्जांपल आपको बहुत लाइक इफ यू आर रियली वेरी थर्स्टी राइट and maybe your mom made you uh, nimbu pani okay and your mom will tell you okay you finish this one glass first and then i'll give you the next one what we will do we'll just drink we'll gulp it really very quickly right because we know that we have a very less time and we need to get the another glass also so in that way fishes and the other aquatic organism know that they have very small amount of oxygen they need to take more and more so that they can survive that's why the breathing rate of those animals are little bit higher as compared to the animals that we have on the land are we clear yes tahia ayota i will explain bachche thank you so much bhavish yes 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 very good lime water nimbu pani very good clear na very good so we have the answer and all of you were absolutely correct 
that both the statement are correct and the reason is a right explanation for a super proud of you everyone thank you bright spot very good adishree you got it uh septum bache to basically heart ke beech mein when we talk about the heart right we have this particular part that is the septum okay let's quickly move to the next question here we go take a movement everyone and read this question ritesh uh i would love to explain you much about this but we'll not be able to so i would request you to watch the session that we did on the circulatory system right that will be really very helpful for you aram so you can go through it and you will be able to have it yes okay we have this question everyone high blood pressure is caused by the constriction of the arterioles artery arterioles jab constrict ho jate hain contract ho jate hain right so which resulted in the increased resistance of the blood flow the reason is that the high blood pressure can lead to the rupture of an artery and the internal bleeding what do you think the correct answer will be separate left and right at the heart to prevent mixing very good yes sahiya adiraj constrict matlab matlab contract ho jata hai right they just shrink shrink nahi hote basically the space that they have right becomes really very narrow right are we clear yes very good very good very good no 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 it's not my birthday today my birthday is on 12th of october yes so let's see now we know that blood pressure is caused blood pressure kab hota hai we know that the arteries are the one that carries the oxygen rich blood right and if there is a blockage in the arteries blood jo ja raha hai right it will exert more pressure on the walls of the artery theek hai bahut kam jagah hai aur bahut jaldi jana hai blood ko yes so of course that is a reason they have lots and lots of pressure so high blood pressure is caused when the arterioles have the you know constrictions and of course which results in the increase in the resistance of the blood flow so blood flow easily nahi ho payega are we clear now of course i am sure you must have seen right Do you have a straw, right? I'm sure. आपने सबने, I'm sure you did this experiment. If you take a straw, right? Right? If you take a straw, and if you, uh, like you have a big straw, right? And from the top, if you just make sure that it's not coming, right? You just pinch it so that the the fluid will not be able to make uh, move. You can see a little bit of pressure there. Yes, that's what. Similarly, we have something in our arteries happening when there's a blockage of the arteries. It dum patle ho jate hain. Yes everyone very good very good bhavish everyone are we clear very good very good so anyone can tell me the correct answer for this yes very good very good zakir very good b very awesome so let's quickly take a look over here so the blood pressure right we know that arteries carry the blood and of course the normal blood range is this right aram se blood can flow but as we have more and more fat deposition or there's any kind of blockage what will happen is very less space for bloods to move and as it happens the blood will put more pressure on the walls of the arteries and we call that as a blood pressure now as the blood pressure increases it will be causing lots and lots of effects in the body right one of that to a very extreme it could be that it can rupture the uh, arteries but that's not the correct answer both the statement are absolutely correct but reason is not the right explanation are we clear uh arushi it can happen to a lots of reason maybe because of lifestyle there is a deposition of the cholesterol in the arteries right that can leads to it very good suresh uh, suresh sorry hypertension yes very good thaya very good all the best all the best for that so can we quickly move ahead to the next question everyone quick thumbs up yes shri hari yes quickly quickly very good everyone here we have the next question okay when we eat something we like our mouth have water i'm sure all of you must have experienced this right अगर फॉर एग्जाम्पल पानी पूरी खा रहे हैं या फिर दर इज अमेजिंग राजमा चावल एट होम 
यमी राइट खान खाने का नाम सुनते ही यू विल हैव द सलाइवा दैट्स देयर राइट वी हैव द वाटर इन आवर माउथ नाउ द रीजन फॉर दैट दैट द क्वेश्चन इज सेइंग दैट वी ईट वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ फूड व्हिच हैज टू पास थ्रू द डाइजेस्टिव ट्रैक डू यू थिंक बोथ द स्टेटमेंट आर करेक्ट और इनकरेक्ट आई कैन सी द आंसर्स वेरी गुड एवरीवन सो ऑफ कोर्स वी नो दैट we have uh, the water in our mouth when we think about it and there is a release of the saliva and of course the saliva will get mixed along with the food and of course we have the bolus right and this bolus will be moving to the esophagus and of course from there it will be moving to the stomach so we can say that both the statement are absolutely correct but the reason is not the correct explanation for a are we clear Yes, yes, very good, very good. Yes, peristalsis movement happens in the esophagus where there's a contraction and the rhythmic contraction and relaxation, and the food moves with the help of these wave-like motion. Okay, everyone, for you there's a bonus question. Bonus question for my dear bachas. Here we have. Yes, very good. I can see so many. Yes, yes, yes. I think yes, amazing, awesome are my filler words, and I'm kind of giving it to you. <laughs> very good, yes, salivary glands, yes, very good, very good. Sort of sir, hang here in the office. Office may yes, sir has classes. Good evening, Satyam. Very good. So okay, everyone, here we have. This is a very interesting question. Let's see if we can crack this question up. a uh, energy release during process of respiration is used to make adp molecule from atp and an organic phosphate adp banta hai ya atp banta hai here we have right okay then reason is atp is broken down right atp is broken down giving rise to fixed amount of energy which can drive the Exothermic reaction taking place in the cell. Now there are lots and lots of things. Let me see how many of you will be able to figure it out. What is wrong in this particular question? Very good, uh, very good. Kapil, welcome to the session. You have seen this question somewhere, Arushi. Okay. Exothermic reaction and endothermic reaction. Endothermic reaction. What is it? एंडोथर्मिक एनर्जी रिलीज हो रही है फिर एब्सॉर्ब हो रही है आई कैन से द करेक्ट आंसर वेरी गुड विघ्नेश यस 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 वॉट इज एक्सोथर्मिक रिएक्शन एंड एंडोथर्मिक रिएक्शन एंडोथर्मिक में हीट एब्सॉर्ब हो रही है बेसिकली एनर्जी इज गेटिंग एब्सॉर्ब राइट सो लेट सी दिस एवरी वन The energy released during the process of respiration is used to make ATP. ATP बनता है जब we have the ADP plus the phosphate. That will be giving us the ATP, right? ऐसे ही बनता है ना ATP. चलो यहाँ पे देखते हैं reaction. Here we have. See, ATP plus phosphate जब साथ में आएगा, तो we have the ATP. अब when ATP is broken down to release the energy, right? we will have the adp again yes or this is used for all endothermic reactions pi is the phosphate ek single phosphate bachche adenosine triphosphate and adenosine diphosphate tahiya are we clear thank you punjabi boy yes thank you welcome to the session Yes, Bhavish. Very soon, I think. I'm, yes, we are kind of sorry. We are keep on saying that, but very soon you will have it. Right, and of course, in the endothermic reaction, heat is being absorbed. Very good, everyone. Super proud of you. Are we clear with this? Come on, come on. How's the energy? कोई सो तो नहीं रहा क्लास में. Double smileys हैं. Yes. Okay. So we have the correct answer with us. ए स्टेटमेंट डेफिनेटली गलत है क्योंकि एटीपी एडीपी से नहीं बन रहा है एडीपी एंड फॉस्फेट विल कम एंड फॉर दी ए टी पी उस क्वेश्चन में उल्टा लिखा था एंड सेकेंड स्टेटमेंट इज एब्सोल्यूटली ट्रू वेरी गुड ओके ना लेट्स टेक अ लुक एट द नेक्स्ट सेट ऑफ क्वेश्चन 
next set of questions this is matrix match type it's okay Vignesh you don't have to say sorry it's the good that you answered I remember Neha I remember Pooja definitely I'll remember so one please write your doubt okay clash squad please please ask your doubt yes hello mr. perfect hi Dikshita good evening good evening very good so please write your doubt I'll pick your doubt from the chat and now let's move ahead do you, do you want me to explain this to you or you're clear with this yes you can Bhavish you can if it's helping you 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 can definitely use it hello Hitesh thank you Mahek good evening unique Vinay good evening Shreyansh tips for Ante we will be okay so I'll explain this so what will be happening in the matrix based question is that we have basically two columns right everyone focus over here we have two columns we have column one and column two right everyone focus focus I'm explaining yes I'm explaining so we'll have a table and we will have column one we have few things in column one and then we have column two and over here we have some information in the column 2 now what we have to do we have to match column 1 with column 2 but there's a very very important thing that we have to remember is that the match of the following can happen with more than one word for example over here if we have a over here if we have P Q R S a can match with P also and with S also are we clear yes see I'll show you the square over here see can you see this square so a can have two match two it can be matched with two words maybe it can be three also four also okay we'll see the question and we have these I think three question so we'll have a look at these and we will try to figure out the answer very good here we have column one and column two in column 1 what we have we have the digestive juices or the enzymes right we have trypsin bile juice lipase and salivary amylase right very interesting very easy peasy question this is in the column 2 what we have we have it break down large fat globules into the smaller one Q is it is a protein digesting digesting enzyme it break down starch into sugar and it is secreted from the pancreas so now but what we'll have we'll have this everyone take a movement koi jaldi bazi nahi karni hai hume sabhi answers ko achche se match karna hai we have lots of time so let's read and let's try to find the answer Take okay trypsin please tell me trypsin kaha se release hota hai which of the gland release trypsin very good very good we know that trypsin is secreted by the Pancreas, very good Shri Hari, very good Anushka, very good Dikshita, very good, very good. Bhavish in the neuron, Mehek, very good, I can see. Okay, so definitely trypsin will be matched with the S, it is secreted in the pancreas. But it is an enzyme, right? It is an enzyme and all the enzymes are proteins right so it is a protein digesting enzyme they are made up of the proteins and trypsin specially help in the breakdown of the protein so over here we will match trypsin with the Q also are we clear yes are we clear exon Bhavish it's, is it there in the exon are we clear everyone with this See, trypsin ko humne match kiya to say it is a protein digesting enzyme. Yes, it helps in the digestion of the protein and it is secreted by the pancreas. Okay. Now let's go with the B. B hai bile juice. Bile juice is secreted by which part or which organ or which gland I would say? Very good. Yes. So bile juice is, is, is actually manufactured in the liver which is the largest gland then it gets stored in the gallbladder and this actually help in breaking down the large fat globules into the smaller one 
So B will be matching with the P over here. Very good, everyone. Very good. Now we have lipase. Lipase B, kaun si gland secrete karti hai? Lipase is also an, is an enzyme. It is secreted by Bhavish. Ductless gland is called as exocrine gland. Yes, before that. Yes. Yes, Adishri, please, what is the doubt? Please ask. So what happens? K bile juices, right? They'll be acting on a big fat globule and it will be breaking into the small one. These arrows that I'm drawing right are the bile salt or the bile juice. Okay? Yes, that is called the emulsification. Very, very good, everyone. Yes. So the lipase actually help in the digestion of the fats, right? And it is secreted by the pancreas over here. It will be matching with the S. Yes. Adishri, please write your doubt. What's emulsification? Breakdown happens, bachi. A bigger molecule is there. It's been broken down to small droplets. Very good, very good. Ananya, sorry. Ananya, please write your doubt. Yes. Last part, salivary amylase. It's the easiest of all. Last part is salivary amylase. It actually helps in the breakdown of the starch into the sugar. Are we clear with this, everyone? Are you clear with this question? Yes. Very good, very good. I think there was a doubt on the pepsin. So pepsin is an enzyme secreted in the stomach. It is there in the stomach. It is there in the stomach, right? And it actually helps in the digestion of proteins. Pepsin actually pepsinogenic inactive enzyme hai, right? It is present in the stomach. It's zero se active hai, active karta hai aur banata hai pepsin. And pepsin help in the breakdown of proteins. Why C is not match with Q? C ko Q se Q match nahi kiya hai kyunki lipase bache protein digest nahi karta hai. Lipase help in the digestion of fats. Arushi, are you clear? Yes, I hope that your doubt is clear, right? It says that it is a protein digesting enzyme. But lipase to fats ko digest karta hai. Grace of Arts and Craft, good evening. Hi. Thank you, Vartika. Very good, Sandeep. Okay, Chandan, bile, uh, kaise kaam karta hai? Toh basically, mainne yam banaya tha. Big fat molecule hai, right? Jaise hi bile juice aega, we will see that. It will be breaking it down to the small molecules, small, chote chote fat globules, right? And on these, the lipase enzyme will be able to work easily. Okay. Clear, everyone? Adishri, it's, 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 uh, it is also an enzyme, bache. Function of trachea, it's a windpipe. Which is, of course, has the cartilage, right? Jatin ADP ka full form hai, adenosine diphosphate. Two phosphates are there. Tripling globules means bache fat ke molecules, aise, gold. Very good. Adishri, it's an enzyme, bache. Okay. Here we go everyone to the next question. Again, we have two columns. Right, we have two columns. We have column one and column two. Now, it's a very, very, very important question. Vyhansa Dekhi everyone, please look over here. What we have, it produces three carbon molecules. Three carbon molecules bana rahe. Okay. It involves oxygen. It produces carbon dioxide and it produces water. You have to match it with the these column two. Take a movement. I am moving aside. Please just focus on the question. Read ek bar achhe se karo, then I'll come back and explain. Yes. Aquatic organisms wo hote hain jo pani mein rehte hain. Okay. Very very good everyone. ठीक है. Let's start matching it up, right? A match karte hain. Now, here we go. We have this. Okay. Now, I want all of you to pay attention. Right? All of you, please stay focused. 
Everyone, please stay focused. It's okay. It's okay, Whitey King. No worries. Yes. Tie it will be difficult for me to answer, Bache. <laughs> yes. It is difficult for me to answer that question. Okay. It produces three carbon molecule. Very good, Bhavish. Very good. Kya bol raha? Are yes, yes, yes. Sorry, ductless gland is endocrine. Duct to exocrine hota hai. Yes, yes. Sorry, Bhavish. I, I actually misunderstood your question earlier. Yes, okay. It produces three carbon molecule, right? Three carbon molecule kaha milta hai hume in tino options me se? Okay, there is a mistake over here everyone. We need to skip this question. Thoda sa is question ko skip karna padega. This particular part has been repeated. Sorry, we'll, we need to skip this question. I'll share this question on the telegram. Yes. I'll share this question on telegram everyone. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Huh? This is correct. Okay. This question is correct. Okay. In column 1 and we have column 2. In column 1 what we have? We have lungs, small intestine, kidneys and the mouth. And in column 2 we have nephron, salivary glands, alveoli and villi. This is easy right? Yes. Let's quickly match everyone. The last question that we did, right, I think options were not correctly placed. So, don't worry. I'll share that question on the telegram. Yes. I will get it, but the options are wrong. The column 2 of options is like they have moved. They are previous question. Is it? Nice. Very good weapon. Okay. Let's go. Lungs is what we have. We know that we have the alveoli, so this is very easy. Lungs have the alveoli. Small intestines have villi. Very good, very good. Right? Then we have kidneys which have nephron. This is a very easy question. And mouth, of course, have the salivary glands. Easy, hai, ye to bohat easy. Hai. Uh, Ananya, yes, you will be able to get the question on the app. Apps is other. You will be able to get the question. Uh, Previously, if you can see the question paper, you will be able to get this question. Yes, chalo. This question was easy and we have cracked this question. Now, we have one more question for the practice. Ye hard pe hai. Okay? Hi, Anupriya. Good evening, good evening, good evening. We are in the last question, everyone. I want to see some energy in class. Itni mehnat kar rahe right? All of us, all of you, all of us are working really very hard. So, we are basically seeing how we can actually solve the question. We are looking for the approach. It's okay, Anupriya. Two X pe video chala ke dekh lena. Okay. So, we have column 1 and column 2. Let's quickly match them up, everyone. Pulmonary vein. Pulmonary vein carries the oxygen-rich blood from the lungs to the heart. Okay, you will answer. Okay, okay. Should I need to wait or you will, I don't get. Bhavish, all of you are answering right, so I will follow you guys. You are saying A goes with R. Very good. So I am putting a tick over here. Okay, you give the command, right? You write the answer over there and I will write over here. A ka R hai, pulmonary vein carries the blood from lungs to the heart. What is for iota? Iota or irota. Yes, B ka you are saying S. It has thick elastic walls. Very good. So S, B goes with S. Very good. Then we have Veena Kava. Right? We have Veena Kava. Yes. Quickly, quickly, quickly. C. C ka S. Are you sure Veena Kava? It carries the deoxidated blood. Absolutely correct. C goes with the Q. It carries deoxygenated blood. Left with the D option that is pulmonary artery. Now here we have a clash. Pulmonary artery. We know that it carries the 
Yes, it carries what? Everyone, the last option, pulmonary artery. Very, very good. So, the pulmonary artery carries the deoxygenated blood for sure. So, Q is definitely there. And it is an artery, right? It is an artery. Therefore, it will have thick and elastic walls. So, option D has two match, right? It has the match with Q and match with S also. Interesting question, right? Yes, please take a screenshot. Very good, very good. Hard gayi thi, bhaave shahid mein ab dobara piche ja ke dekh lena. Okay, so we are done with this question everyone. And we are done with our session also. I hope that you have enjoyed this session. Physics wala hard hai haan. Thoda sa physics question could be a little bit difficult. Again, I think Arushi, depends ki hum kaise dekh rahe hain. How is the approach we have? Bio mein I think we have practiced so much. Right? Maybe aapko bio is easy lagti ki hum ne bohut practice kari hoi hai. If you practice for the physics also, you will feel the same thing. Like the questions are really very easy. Awesome. So before we end our session, everyone, I would request you and I would request you to request your parents to actually register for the webinar that we have on 5th of October, which is World Teachers Day with Chetna Ma'am, right? And in this, right, your parents can interact with Ma'am and of course, there are a lot of things, you know, your parents want to talk to about. So it's a very good opportunity. Yes, so please ask your parents to join for this amazing webinar. The link of the webinar is in the description below. Click on that. It's very easy peasy. Quickly. Yes. And with this, as we say, we have got you covered. And I'll share this on the Telegram also, this whole class PDF. So I hope that all of you are there. And I'll share the question also, right, which is there. So solve that question. With that, everyone, I'll say bye-bye. Please don't forget to hit the like button. Share with your friends and subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the channel, everyone. We are, go we are actually growing more and more, right? So we want to have more and more of you. Yes. Bye-bye, everyone. Babish, I don't have the answer for that. Yes, please ask that question. Everyone, hit the like button. Share with your friends and subscribe to the channel. Bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye. Related to ninth class, yes, you can. You can drop the uh, comment in the, right, you can actually write the, your doubt in the comment section. I will reply over there. Yes. Jatin and Ishan, please write your doubt. And Ananya, you also please write your doubt in the comment section below. <laughs> and I'll be able to answer. I can read that salt to toothpaste. Suresh, no, 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 I'm not good at maths. Five minutes fun. Achha. Bilkul, bilkul. Isha, we will have that. Very soon we will have that. Bilkul, history, civics, economics, sab karenge. Geography, I know, okay, theek hai. Bilkul. Yeah. Isha, we, yes. Where I'm from? Aray, Bhavish, itna time se padha rahi hu. Or itni, itni baar poochha hai Bhavish ne mujh se. I'm from Rajasthan. Okay, Isha is your mother name. Nice. Yes, Anushka. Very good. All the best. Okay, everyone. I think I would quickly wind up the session. Thank you so much for being here with us. And take care. We'll be meeting really very soon. And uh, keep on learning with Baiju's. Keep on working really very hard. Lots of love to each one of you. Ta-da! Bye! Bye everyone, I leave. Ta-da!